Hey guys, this is Jason from Arbors Abroad and today we are talking about nine van flooring mistakes that we hope you don't make when building out your van. The first one to talk about is do not fill any unnecessary holes. Make sure you know exactly what each hole is and does and why you want to fill it or don't want to fill it. We almost made this mistake by filling up and covering the hole that leads to our spare tire. And fortunately, Heather asked, where does this go? And we looked and sure enough, it was the spare tire hole, bolt thing. So don't make that same mistake. Number two mistake not to make is do not put the Reflectix on after you put the flooring in. By putting in the Reflectix on the wheel well, it will change the sizing, the width that your poly iso and your plywood will be. So do it first, and then you'll make sure that you don't have to cut and read, cut and measure multiple, multiple times. The third mistake not to make is do not use the spray adhesive under the poly iso prior to putting or installing it. The whole purpose of the poly iso and the spray adhesive is to make a complete bond, but when you put the Great Stuff expanding foam underneath it, that causes a slight raise in the poly iso, rendering the, the spray adhesive not usable. It, it doesn't work. So don't spray it underneath. There's no need. You're just wasting spray adhesive. Number four mistake not to make is not taking enough measurements. You want to always over measure. Measure many, many, many times and be 100% certain on what you're doing prior to making any adjustments or putting it into the van because if you make the mistake of not measuring correctly, you could have the possibility of puncturing your Reflectix and have to retape over and over again. So just make sure you measure in abundance so that you don't have issues like that. Number five, do not try and over fancy anything like in our step. You just put it in and put your Reflectix underneath it and leave it be. Don't try and over complicate it by putting all these other different things in there. Just, just repurpose the step that you had taken out in the beginning, put a little bit of spray paint on it and call it good. And this is where number six comes in. Don't throw away anything because you never know when you may need to use something that you took out of the demolition of the van. You especially need to be taking into consideration your carpet as the stencil, and you don't want to cut that up and throw it away. You wanna keep it and use it as your stencil. It comes in very handy multiple times. Number seven, don't stress about the cracks and the crevices within the van when you're laying down your poly iso. When you're laying it, it's okay to have some cracks and crevices that are exposed. That is when your great stuff expanding foam comes in handy and you can just spray it in and let it expand, fill in those gaps and cracks and you're good to go. So don't make the mistake of trying to be super precise with installing your poly iso. There is definitely room for error, so you can fix it later. Number eight. Do not buy too little of the spray adhesive. When you're spraying it, it seems like you'll have an overabundance of it, but you really don't. It, a little bit does not go a long way. So always buy one, maybe even two spray cans more than what you think you'll need because if anything, you're gonna need it more often than not. So just get an extra can. Number nine, if you're using rolled out flooring, don't worry about getting it perfect. Basically, you can roll it in, cut it to size, but leave a little bit of extra because when you're actually putting it in permanently with your spray adhesive, you can splay it out from the center to the outside. And once it's out on the outside and firmly attached to the floor, you can just cut off the extra excess of the linoleum flooring with a, an X-Acto knife. So, don't worry about getting it too precise. Well, there you have it. There's nine mistakes to avoid when doing your van flooring build out. 
If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. If you have any other suggestions on things that you think others would benefit from, please let others and us know what those are. Please give us a thumbs up. It helps the channel out significantly. And go ahead and subscribe if you found this video helpful and if you're looking forward to more videos like this in the future. So we'll talk to you later.